It's sickening to see the new attacks on the FBI threatening the life of law enforcement agents and their families for simply carrying out the law and doing their job. There's no place in this country, no place, for endangering the lives of law enforcement. I'm opposed to defunding the police. I'm also opposed to defunding the FBI. Here now is CEO and co-founder of The Federalist, Sean Davis. Uh, uh, Sean, uh, what do you think of Joe Biden's new line here, a new approach? Uh, I think it's a bit of a joke. Um, after all, this is the guy who appointed Merrick Garland, who, if he actually believed in the rule of law, if he actually believed in democracy, he would have done something to stop the scores of left-wing activists who've been terrorizing Supreme Court justices, who've been firebombing pro-life centers. And instead of doing that, Joe Biden and his DOJ have done the exact opposite and encouraged them. So I, I think, uh, to use one of his phrases, his claims there are a bunch of malarkey. You know, it's actually starting to uh, unravel this idea of the proximity between the FBI and what's going on with social media and traditional media. I mean, the inspector general put out more than a thousand pages of reports and recommended potential prosecution of one of the FBI for leaking information. And yet the Department of Justice wouldn't do that. Well, of course not, because uh, the DOJ actually is effectively an arm of the DNC. It's, it's an arm of the Democrat political party. And all you need to do to, to understand that is look at what they did in 2016. Uh, they gave Hillary's people a whole bunch of immunity deals. They came up with the Russia hoax. In 2018, they held the, uh, the bogus Mueller investigation to rig that election. In 2020, they come along and they use this nonsense about Hunter's uh, laptop being Russian disinformation as a pretext to ban people from even sharing news articles about it on Twitter. Uh, and then you see what they're doing now with the raid on Mar-a-Lago. And you can see, obviously, that they're not just targeting 2024, they're targeting 2022. So, so the rod at the FBI, the rod at DOJ and the Intel state goes from the bottom all the way to the very top. And the only way to fix it is to root all of it out instead of making uh, excuses for it like Joe Biden's doing. Yeah, I don't know that uh, applying uh, Jeremy Bash uh, into the position that he is is really actually solving the problem. It's sort of recycling somebody who's already been there and was part of the problem. I mean, it was not Russian disinformation. It was real. So how did 50 intelligence officers get it so wrong? Well, I think they got it wrong deliberately. I, I, I think we need to start looking at these people first as partisan political activists and not as so-called uh, intel experts, because it's obvious what they're doing. They cook up these idiotic schemes and memes and hoaxes as a pretext for going after their political opposition. These, these people are left-wing Democrat political operatives. They're not intel experts, uh, and that's why they're doing this. So I, I think we need to dispense with this idea that they actually know what they're doing in the field that they pretend to work in. Yeah, you know, Director Ray was uh, brought in to be an agent of change, and he certainly has not been Sean, thank you so much for joining us tonight on the Ingram Angle. We do appreciate it.